not damaged enough. So it's a couple months later and I'm making this video again. We're going to take a look at the Magok 3. Now this is a souped up M60 with ERA. Now when it first came out, it was not a souped up M60 with ERA. It was just an M60 with no ERA. Now it's got an ERA and a ton of smoke grenades. So let's take it out, see what happens. Does the ERA help it any much anymore? Is the 7.7 BR viable now? And how much fun? is this tank really is it worth it is it a good grinder i'll let you know so stick around you'll see at the end of the video oh man hopefully this uh gives me some luck because last time i played this tank it was not sunshine and rainbows i'll tell you that much all right so let me get this on the table right off the bat the m60 isn't a bad tank the magok is not a bad tank i may be pronouncing that wrong by the way too i'm not from israel i'm pretty sure it's an israel or israeli derived word um and I, I do not know how to pronounce that. It may be Magach, it may be Magach, I don't know. Uh, but regardless, it is a good tank. It's not a bad tank. But for a premium at tier five, you kind of want something that's gonna suit a play style really well. And the thing with the M60 is it's just a jack of all trades that's worse than its competition in certain areas, but maintains the steady overall. It's like the guy who's got a good physique but he doesn't bench as much as the bodybuilder, if that makes any sense. And like in this case, a bodybuilder is a 7.7 T54 lineup that will literally grab your head and rip it apart. <laughs> it's like that was getting violent there. Let's slow down. Now I do have a heat FS loaded. I'm glad I noticed that right now because we're just going to shoot that one into the building. If you take heat FS in a battle first, you deserve to fucking get your head ripped apart. No, I'm kidding. Heat of S isn't that bad this patch, but I do think APDS is working kind of nice. Also, no stab on this. Remember that. Buddy, I cannot see... I cannot see where I'm shooting at. I would love to help you. Alright, look at this unit. We're an absolute unit now. Got you. We're gonna rep. Oh, we're just out here being being tanks and stuff feels tanky man all right i'm gonna help this dude rep my friend on the left died but there's an m103 there this is some good old trench fighting right here they can't be as well which is a shame leopard down by the m103 sorry buddy i don't want to scrape your paint all right we're gonna push around the corner with him oh hold on mate hold on mate hold on mate all right Keep going. What is it? He killed it. It was a bimp. Oh, there's a leopard behind us. Oh, no. Turn around. Turn around, my man. The leopard. Slick, why didn't you bring rockets? I don't have any. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow, there are really four planes up. This is amazing. Until I get shot down by a plane. Or by an AA. Or a plane. You know, a plane would probably make him just as sad. Alright, so he's splashed. Tank. What is that? It's another bomber? P-47 maybe? It looks like a Stalin bolt. Maybe a Stalin bolt. Let's see if we can get it. It is a Stalin bolt. Wow, insta snipe on the Stalin bolt. Feels bad, man. TU2 missed his bomb load, so we'll go for him, of course. We're still getting crits on the dude that we set on fire. And we set that guy on fire, too. Awesome. There goes the doe. TU2 is just going to stay ablaze. We'll let him go down. There he goes. And we got one more. What is this? Little thing. It is a 109. Earlier one, too. Poor guy. Why do you need to bring jets into 7.7 .7 games slick? Well, let me riddle you this one, guys. If you bring a jet, which is the same BR as your tanks, you don't have to worry about getting shot down in your prop by a jet, because you'll be in a jet as well. And that is slick wisdom for the day. I 
I don't know. We're going to see if we can cause more havoc. There's some AA up. We're going to climb a little bit. Gain some separation. Quellian maybe? I don't know. Oh, we got a plane. Can we get a plane ace? In a ground forces match. I had such a tough time on stream today um, playing. That's a Hortino. A little Dorito chip. I had such a tough time playing on stream today. I knew I would have a good game. And this just happens to be that one maybe. Alright, so he's going to do some shifty things. Yeah, he's just out here doing shift, shifty business. Oh, he's got me. Wait, hold on. If I flatten myself out and duck down, put our flaps up. Just keep rolling, man. I hear the shots. I'm scared. It just takes one of those. I'm big done. Okay. Whatever you say, don't do this at home, kids. Do not do this at home, kids. I am a trained professional. Oh, he hit me with it. He hit me with the worst maneuver I could. I was not foreseeing that. This is for the ace, Ben. I got to get him. I got to do it. I could pull this. I'm trying to think what I can do to actually get him on my uh, in front of me. It's going to be tough. The Horton is a beast. It is a beast. So what we're going to do is fly over the T. Fuck move in towards A. I'm going to sit... I, what I usually do on this map, uh, especially because it's only one cap now, and we can't really see far because there's fog. It's kind of nice. It's covering up the path. I'm going to do my best to rush that tree line right there, which is on the edge of A. It kind of creates like a semicircle around A. And that's usually where I get the best luck is, you know, I'll go hold down in the bushes over there and try to smoke some stuff. Oh, hold on. I see a guy. How far away you guys think that is? I would say about 12, 1,400. Might be good. Oh, shit. Wait, hold on. 1,400 was good. Uh, he's done. He got one shot. I th it looked like I went through him, but I think I just skimmed the top of his turret. All right. We are in the tree line. Now, the best way to play this, I, you know, again, it's kind of rough. This isn't the best map to be honest. It's not my favorite. I don't know why. It's just a weird snipe fest, and it's got weird bushes and stuff. This map doesn't feel like it should have been a map. Oh, there's another guy over there. Hopefully it's not the dead leopard. Oh, no, he's moving. Alright, crit. It's a object. 120. Alright, got him. APDS has been working pretty well. I haven't had to switch to heat yet. I feel like it just packs more punch than it used to. Um, I don't know where I got shot from. I'll launch some of the smoke. Hopefully I don't get hit again. But I mean... Alright. He was over here. I am looking in the right direction. Launch more smokes out. Prey doesn't hit me. And then we'll move up to another bush. And it looks like these launch in groups of four. The smoke grenades, if you're curious. They kind of drop pretty low, though. So just be wary of that. They, they drop really close to the tank. Closer than uh, most of the other smoke launchers in-game. Oh, I think I just saw him. I caught a glimpse. Look at that. We did. We found him. It was a 120, I think, using darts. That's why he only killed one guy. And a track. He overpenned. Um, that sounded like it came from over here. 122? You can't mistake the clank. Yeah, it was. It was iron's 4. This will be an interesting take. There's a Conqueror, too. I need to play that as well. The Super Conqueror. Oh, I see him. Oh, I bounced. Or I missed. He shot, too, though. I definitely can reload in that time. I'm going to hit him with a Heat FS shell straight through the middle. Uh, gunner Commander, and he died. All right, switch back to the Sabo. 
And we got the cap. Beautiful. Keep pushing up. Number one thing in this game uh, is always keep looking around with your camera when you're playing tanks. And it, it, that'll start to help avoid the situations where you think people are hacking or you think people are, uh, you know, using ULQ. Because you can get different camera angles when you play around with the angle, like, obviously, the pan of the camera. So just always keep your head on a swivel, guys. Be intelligent tankers. I'm going to go to clear the rest of this forest. Uh, looking left and right, listening for engines while we drive through the bushes. And if somebody does have ULQ, they will catch you off guard in one of these situations. So just remember that if you choose to play the game when it looks nice. And if you don't know what I mean by ULQ, you're like new to War Thunder. Uh, ultra low quality is a setting on War Thunder where on the computer you can play it almost on any computer uh, any pc you know it's like it is the ultimate low level it looks like minecraft just war thunder and um when you play on that the bushes are scaled way worse slow the heat fs two b <laughs> two btr is coming out of spawn let's hit that one all right and we'll hit this guy too See, this is this is the poor map design. Uh, I feel bad for those guys. I mean, I'm gonna kill them, <laughs> of course. I'm not gonna let them live, but uh, I feel bad because they can't go anywhere. You know, they're just stuck on the horizon because they spawn right there, and that's kind of the flaw of this map. It's a one spawn ordeal in a flat ground, so there's no protection for them. If they did something like maybe built a wall <laughs> or made some type of structure like a compound, maybe that the tank spawned in, that might be a better situation. Uh, let me apologize. Sorry, guys. Just clicking. Yeah, you know. I think this game is about dry. Oh, there's an enemy right up here. Well, heat FS on the Kugel. The Kugel is still a heat FS uh, bouncer. He should have been dead, dude. Of course, that one got him. Another guy in the woods over here. Oh, uh, there he is. He's down. There's an IS-6. Just shot in the woods, it sounded like. That was to the back. I think. Unless he's up ahead. I don't know. That really sounded like it was close. I don't have bushes on. <laughs> All right. Oh, he is. He is. He's right in here. Oh, man. I didn't load Sabo either. I'm a dumb dumb. Dumb dumb won't come up. Let's just wait for one of this plasticized heat FSs to, uh, oh, he's down. <laughs> to hit one of these uh, bushes and just completely become irrelevant. IS-6 is down behind us, and we're just kind of spawn camping at this point. Game's over, so uh, let's hop into another one. All right, we get Maginot. We got to snipe a little bit. I'm spawning in a little late. I was just chilling there. A large number of PS or X-Bone players versus a large number of PC players. Take a vote down below if you will think if you think our team will be triumphant this match, and why. Uh, 2100. Say less, boys. Say less. Fuck me, dude. Some days, some days you got it, and some days you don't. But slick today, you got it, bud. You got it, bud. You're doing it. Oh, no. He was close, dude. Alright, can we just settle down for a second? Let's move that a little bit over to the left, and he's done -zo. See you later. Bye. Have a great time. Alright, beautiful. Going in cold turkey, hitting a 2200 meter shot, you know, feels good. It gives you the big, the big peen energy, my friend. But be careful, don't, don't gain your confidence too fast. That dude is... What? A T-54? <laughs> what was he doing over here? 
in the middle over there. But yeah, so uh, wise word from a man. Don't use your big peen energy. And do uh, don't waste it, I should say. You hit a shot like that, dude, you're bound to have a good game. Am I right? You're gonna. But if you rush because you think you hit a good shot, you know, it doesn't always turn out as well. Let's take some time. Find a guy. Oh, look it. Found one. Wow, that shot was shit. <laughs> that shot was shit, mate. That was a little bit better. But not the best. <laughs> Shooting at Blaine's back here. Alright, find that IS-6 that I was previously shooting at. And I want to hit him with a cannon. Nice, Bulldog. Nice job. Oh, hold on. That looks like another 20... 2100 meter shot. 22. Oh. My. God. Dude, the lead on that, it lofted the house. That was like a through ball from Messi. Into that dude's track. Oh, it was a bimp, too. Oh, I love it. On target. It him right. Come on, bimp. Go down, bud. One more, one more, one more. Alright, there we go. Bimp's down. We still have this guy up on the hill. I was trying to uh, finesse it, and then I realized I was uh, I had heat FS loaded. That's why I was shooting with bad. Oh, we got him! Tracked him. The dude goes, "Why?" Ah, oh, we're long range in this game. That's why. <laughs> I will gift an IS-7 to you, my friend. All right, keep pushing up. Keep our head on a swivel. Remember that. We're losing B, we got planes up, some guys spotted to our left, but the teams are kind of balanced. The top guys on our team are going through a lot of lives, which isn't necessarily good. Oh, hold on. Not damaged enough. <laughs> Lob these smoke grenades quick. Okay. We're good with that. We gotta keep our left clear. Gotta, this is a weird spot on the map. I'm about to drive out towards the little edge. There's an edge here that you can kind of drive around. Oh, M47 is moving. He's on the move. Oh my god, he's cruising. That was definitely the guy that shot at me. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna get a shot. And I'm going to push too much and get shot from the left, I bet. I'm going to play it safe. Or try to play it safe. Another plane coming in? Oh, he's down. I should have hit him with my uh, machine gun. I probably could have got a kill for that. Hostile team is capping A. Eh? Can already eh, I'm not gonna already him. I feel like it'll clog up my sight. We know it's the M forty seven. Where is he though? Over in that back corner? Probably. Shooting at one of our planes. And an IS six just got killed over there. That was the guy that I we were missing. It was that IS six. Oh, he's launching smoke now. I'm hitting him with an Arnie. I still don't see much coming on. Just pop over. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Damn, dude. Hold on. I gotta 
do something crazy here. We gotta push. No! <laughs> he got me. I couldn't do anything else. So we got a plane and two tanks. Let's come back in our F-80. Alright, we got a lot of air up. Which is nice. Is that an AA shooting from their spot? It looks AA yeah, it is. It's gotta be. It's coming from one focal point. Also, if you guys like the uh, color correction of this video, shout out Holland. I say Holland. Holly, is, she's a viewer on sub or a viewer on Twitch, and she gave me the perfect setting. So if you guys want to just pause the video, check those settings out, and try them out for yourself. Game looks amazing with this color, especially on my monitor. So I would say if you have a relatively new monitor, you'd be set. Oh, my elevator. Why? <laughs> Excellent tank. I had a blast playing this vehicle. It is fun and engaging. <laughs> fun and engaging gameplay with the Magak. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video and it doesn't hurt you too much, maybe consider giving it a like. And if you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I make daily content, stream every day, War Thunder, Tarkov, a couple other games. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you uh, pop in. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace. Peace.